jacket because it's 36 degrees outside. Look at this shit! you guys when I was in middle school like I just really liked guys who had a little little bit of fluff and I'm still not opposed to it like I just I'm definitely pansexual I just love people for who they are and my partner was asking me like what type I have in girls he's like well out of our friends are there any girls that you found attractive I just love everyone just for who they are I couldn't even like think of one girl or one guy who I particularly like felt any type of way about because I just have an unconditional love for all the people in my life regardless and it has nothing to do with the way that they look and it just made me realize how little I do think about that and I would like to continue treating everyone the same no matter what they look like or how they approach me because as a woman as a woman in America uh, as a woman, sometimes I have this wall up against guys because I automatically think they're trying to creep and I am a Scorpio, I'm very intuitive and so I'm probably right a lot of the times but it's kind of heavy for me to feel so like afraid of men all the time and I talk about this a lot but yeah, sometimes when random guys approach me at events and stuff like that I just get kind of like, don't talk to me type thing. I'm pretty good at feeling out the vibes but I don't know, I met this one really cool dude who was really nice. He didn't try to make a move on me or anything like that, but just he felt like a little 
I don't know. Like he just really wanted to get to know me, which I guess I'm not used to. And um, I felt like I wanted him to go away or something. But perhaps that's a whole other thing and has nothing to do with just having unconditional love for people. So once that shit start boiling, you put the lid on and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Turn the 20s and the 50s, bitch. Rack city, bitch. Rock, rock city, bitch. So I met this really awesome couple. Well, my partner is friends with this guy and his girlfriend and I'm like obsessed with her and them and they're so sweet and so loving. Her name is Devin and she really wants to be a mom. And she was just like me. My nurturing qualities are just very present. <laughs> I love cooking, I love cleaning, I love taking care of people. I also like working hard. The Asian in me comes out. I'm very studious. I like to do a good job at my job. And I don't know, I like being efficient. I have many sides. But she was telling me how women would call her a breeder and women like shame her for wanting to be a mom. She's 21. I'm 20. I don't want to be a mom anytime soon, but I'm very excited for that. And I really embrace my feminine womanly qualities. And yeah, she was telling me how women were calling her a breeder. I was like, what? Even though you want to be able to do all the things that a man can do, the beauty is that you can do what a man can do and you can also embrace your beautiful feminine qualities. I don't think we have to repress our femininity to prove that we're as strong as men. I think that we can embrace both and be fucking powerhouses. I just thought that was interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below. In general, I, a lot of women are healing from the masculine, are healing from trauma or fear of the masculine, and I think that's fucking amazing, and I'm so happy. But we also have to heal men, the way that men are speaking about women, the way that they're treating them, and the way that they're being taught about how to treat and talk to women because what I've been noticing is that so many females have just been like healing themselves and feeling so good but then there's this negative talk about men like okay I feel good I'm healed I feel safe within myself I'm not having any like flashbacks I'm not having any I don't know panic attacks around men but I just want to stay away from them and avoid them at all costs like men are still scary men are still evil and that's kind of like the overall conversation I've been feeling out around the women in my life and in the collective it's like yeah okay women are really healing they're like becoming powerful they're becoming more confident but we really have to work with the masculine here and heal that aspect of it if we ever really want to live in harmony and come into balance with each other and yeah, it's never about one being more powerful or dominant. But yeah, I just think that we just have to shift the way that men <laughs> think about and treat women for us to actually make any progress rather than women just healing themselves and like completely avoiding men. I think a lot of it just has to do with the way that we raise our children. I think that's really fucking important. And also, obviously what we're putting out there in the media, there's a lot of healing going on in the collective. I just steamed some peppers and onions and spinach. Damn, spinach shrinks so much, it's so sad. And my quinoa is finished and I'm just gonna put my go-to seasonings, which is, well, garlic and onion, classic, salt, pepper, and then I might add some of these liquid aminos. Oh, what's up, room tour? These are little patches that I made a while ago and I still don't know where I'm gonna put them. But yeah, thank you for being and a bunch of other flowery things. And I made this little guy, which is a quote from Ram Dass from his book. I just got out the shower, so I'm gonna put clothes on and put cocoa butter all over my body. Currently in the bathroom while my sister's taking a shower. <laughs> um, she's always made me do, I look so bad right now but she's always made me do this. She's like, can you talk to me while I shower? That's sisterly love right there. We're talking about love and relationships. <laughs> Pero like, why? <laughs> With Spanish. It's funny. She speaks really good Spanish. And this table like pulls out and we made pizza and it was so cute. And I love family and friends. Becky, it's fucking snowing. The first snow in New York City. Becky! It's snowing! 
I just woke up. I'm going to Chicago today. It's like so interesting to be a sad person and to be so sensitive and especially when it comes in waves because after it's over you're like wow life is great but for a day to a week it's like really a struggle to just try and motivate yourself to do all the things that you have to do to live this life um because you live in society continue doing your healthy positive coping methods people that has been the biggest thing to help me and i just feel like it's getting better and better i've definitely been confronted with different situations that have made me react certain ways that i'm not used to but it's all part of the growing process and um i'm just so grateful for the growth that is always occurring and the healing that's always occurring it's gonna be okay you guys we got this can we just have like a sad people unite like rally right now and really um yeah it's gonna be okay and nothing in this life lasts forever and it's freaking beautiful and allow that to be an empowering freeing thought because the sadness will pass people the anxiety will pass and the happiness will pass too and we just have to accept everything that's going on and the more that you accept the sadness the quicker that it can be released because if you repress it it's just you're not identifying something that needs to come to light you're not identifying a thought in your head that's cycling you're not identifying a situation that if you just spoke up about could change and stop causing you anxiety but the more that you repress it's just gonna make you more depressed repress depress accept and what's a positive word that rhymes with accept I don't know, accept and flourish, okay? That's all I'm saying, okay? Feeling really energetic. I haven't even had my coffee today. I've been drinking coffee. I don't know how I feel about it. I probably have it three times a week. I haven't been having it every single day, but I've been getting super sleepy and sometimes that caffeine, man, just really does it for you. And it's like this whole new world of like, oh my God, this is a legal drug that I can take every day that will give me energy to allow me to do the things that I need to do. And it just like reminds me of Adderall. And I just discovered coffee like last month. So it's been this whole new thing. It's crazy. Sorry if I'm being super annoying right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I know I've been really weird with uploading. I've just not been comfortable looking at myself. I know that sounds weird. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye, I love you.